we are in an epoch when uh, different cycles change simultaneously. So uh, the reality that we are living in might be tomorrow completely different one, pluridimensional. So it, it is a time to attune to it, to find uh, tools, ways how to um, live in the new um, coming reality. Uh, Gaia Touch is one method that I have developed in collaboration with elemental beings of different places. And uh, I would like to show you some exercises how to tune to the new. So one uh, was shown to me to the elemental beings of the uh, Zurich, town of Zurich in Switzerland. So uh, this um, exercise uh, uh, helps us uh, to, to first to tune to the feminine uh, quality of the uh, new uh, reality uh, uh, using the uh, forum of mandorla this is a almond shaped uh, forum known in different cultures as symbol for the f feminine uh, for the goddess uh, so it starts at at the back at the back because because uh, it needs to connect the back side which is the causal archetypal levels of reality with the front. The front is the manifesting, the, the embodied world. Uh, so uh, you build mandorla by uh, uh, marking the lower part of the almond shaped form behind your back and then you go forward, you go forward uh, to the second corner of, of the almond shaped forum. Now we are in the manifested world. Uh, what is below is now above. Uh, but then when you go down, when you go down, the uh, hands naturally form a circle, the circle in front of your heart, uh, which means that the, the um, um, nature of the new cycle is of feminine it connects the causal the archetypal and the manifested worlds and is based on the horizontal power of the heart anymore the the hierarchical the, the vertical uh, structures uh, so uh, once again Three times you form the mandorla around your body to be inside. But then the third time you go lower down the hands and create a circle in front of your heart and then open. So that the information about the existence of the new reality within you and around you uh, is shared with the world and other beings. So once again, another another um, exercise that. Uh, uh, I use has to do uh, in connection with these changing times is uh, the exercise how to take out the, uh, the destructive patterns that are everywhere within our body and within the environment, the past civilization, the patriarchal civilization uh, has uh, projected upon life and upon all its beings uh, different um, patterns that are also of religious origin and now they all this stuff wants to get out and be transformed uh, I, I was shown this exercise um, but, uh, while I was working this year on Bali uh, in Indonesia uh, uh, a secretary showed it to me how to get out uh, these uh, false patterns uh, 
when they start to bother you. So the, the, uh, y y y in front of your plexus, you, you hold, you hold uh, the hands like this and hold tight. Uh, so now it is like taking out, you need certain power to take out this pattern, but then it needs to be transformed. So you go into the back. Uh, no, you use the, the chakras on the um, hands, uh, the so-called stigmata. These chakras are able to, to transform. So, so when, you, when you get the pattern out, you go in first into the back side uh, to transform in the, on the causal level and then to the front to transform in the manifested world. Imagining then out uh, there is a light coming out of your sh hands, chakras. Um, uh, an another, um, another forum of these, de these are exercises of detachment from the old because now we, we are detaching from uh, old structures and uh, tuning to the new. Uh, so another form of detachment is to to hold hands uh, hold hands uh, in front of your plexus horizontally and press 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 and then in one moment you you detach and energetically and then again you go into the back and into the front uh, to to transform. It is uh, to be detached uh, from old uh, powers, uh, pa powers of the old world that does not exist anymore. Uh, so, so there is uh, like two sides in this transforming process. One is to tune to the, to the new and the, the other is to, to detach, get free from the, uh, from the old, uh, to, to say it very simply. Uh, to, to tune to the new, th there is another exercise with the, the hands, which uh, is uh, to uh, move hands along the edges. Um, it, it, um, it is to uh, tune to this new principle, which says, don't go like, mas um, like patriarchal society, uh, you know, uh, always go forward, do things, do things without tuning to the in. So this exercise teaches a, a, a new way, which is first to go in to the origins, uh, to the um, archetypal wisdom, cosmic wisdom. You go in and then from there you go out into the action. The, the hands move along the edges all the time but you you need also to leave the arms like you start we start in the ou outer and then you you leave the arms so that the hand go hands go now in and then from inside you take inspiration to do something in the outer world here is a pause and then continue always around the edges of the hands you go in This is to teach uh, consciousness and the body to act in a different way, always going in before uh, going into the action. Another um, way to tune to the new is to connect to the dragon powers, to the pri primordial uh, powers of Gaia creation. We, we, built, we have built uh, in the patriarchal age a kind of uh, closed space in, in which we move and do things but exclude uh, the, the archetypal powers of the universe and, and, the, and the earth, which means the uh, primeval powers of creation. So this, um, we do much harm to the, to the uh, life and other beings, but also to 
ourselves. So uh, the, the new is not possible without um, reconnecting with the primeval powers uh, of Gaia and Sophia, the cosmic uh, divinity. Uh, so um, th this exercise th that is that is based on uh, uh, inspiration that I got f f in the city of Basel, um, which is a city of the the dragon uh, basilisk, the bird dragon, bird dragon. <laughs> so um, this exercise um, goes uh, uh, so that first we open to the primeval powers of Gaia, which, which are, um, uh, we, with the hands we need to go in, into the back, back side uh, and down, the opening like this, and then, then uh, go uh, forward, uh, but still standing, uh, still staying at the back, uh, to, to concentrate at the coccyx, at, at the bottom of our uh, backbone. And then uh, bring the, the uh, primeval power through, through the body, through the body uh, to, to the throat and to concentrate uh, at the throat. Um, the, the throat represents the, the creative powers, our creativity to, to become again po po uh, potent, have, have strength uh, to go through this difficult time of changes needs to be uh, connected to the dragon powers, to the archetypal powers of the earth. So this connection is uh, now opening the throat, the, the seat of the, our creative powers, means to, uh, that the primeval powers are allowed to enter our creativity so that it becomes again potent, uh, able to um, uh, uh, move through the times of change, planetary change. So, uh, w while we have um, now uh, concentrated the creative, prim creative, primeval creative powers at the throat, now we need to open. We need to open uh, so that uh, the flow is free uh, of the creative powers. But then it needs also to connect to the cosmic, which is uh, going up uh, to, uh, with the cosmic dragon, the, the primeval powers, creative powers of the universe, and bring it down to, again to our throat, and then to, to the end of the spine, and open. So uh, then we, we are at the beginning again. Um, it, it is about uh, how the, the human being in a new way um, positions oneself within the uh, universe of the uh, Gaia and uh, universe of Cosmos, uh, Sophia. Uh, there is, um, may, maybe I, I do it again so that uh, y you remember well. But of course you don't need to turn around. I turned also that you could see <laughs> how it goes. Another um, way how to tune 
to the new uh, is again with, with the hands. Um, we are now in the transition. Uh, one of the changes of the cycle is the transition from the element of the earth. We are living in an epoch of the element of the earth, which means very uh, in a very materialized reality. And the next element we are moving in is, in is the element of the air. The element of the air uh, means consciousness. We come into uh, airy uh, consciousness-like uh, reality, which is in, uh, multidimensional because it has the ability to open to different sides like consciousness has. So um, we, we are um, moving from a rather closed uh, um, world that is like an object. We are moving into a very um, sub in a space that is open for communication between different worlds and dimensions. And you, you, if you do this with the hands, uh, uh, you first create a kind of ball which represents the, the uh, Earth as an object uh, uh, in the universe, this closed ball. And then you move with, with the, with the thing, hands so that uh, the uh, thumbs and the small fingers uh, connect on both sides. Uh, connect. Uh, through this, a, a new structure comes into being, which is open. It, it has here a, like a tunnel, interdimensional tunnel, to, to connect uh, different worlds. <clears throat> now, now uh, the small uh, finger relates to the element of the air, uh, because uh, water, fire, earth, and air. Uh, and the thumb, the thumb relates to the <clears throat> primeval uh, elemental powers of, of Gaia and uh, of the universe. So by doing this, uh, this movement, it goes into bo both directions. It means that in the age that is coming, uh, there is the uh, consciousness connects to the primeval powers the creative powers of Gaia and Sophia, and through this we become able to move, to create in the quality of consciousness. The consciousness is not something airy, like mental, but becomes something concrete, something that is able to create a, a new um, world structure, a new structure of the human beings. We, we become uh, different if we move from the element of the earth to the element of the air. So um, to, to uh, teach the body um, and our consciousness to tune to the new, um, but maybe also to, uh, to give an impulse into the morphogenetic field of the earth. This is an exercise uh, that can be used. You can do it in front of your heart. And then open so that the information can, can be spread. Thank you. Ha, <laughs>